Hey guys, this is Devin here with Hillbilly Networks. I wanted to show you an app called Wi-Fi Analyzer. You can download it in the Play Store. Um, I'm not sure in terms of the Apple Store um, if they offer that or not. Um, they definitely should offer some similar options. Um, but anyways, uh, if you're testing a Wi-Fi network that you've installed or that somebody's reported having issues with, like say uh, you've got an access point or router or wireless router, any of the above that are uh, that somebody's reporting that there's a bad signal, uh, that they're not getting a good enough signal, or if say you installed one and you're trying to figure out what kind of coverage it's actually making in the facility or if it's outside plant a lot of times we pull mount access points with my job and <clears throat> in order to test that i actually use this app and i can walk around um, with the app opened and i can actually look at things like this um, where it shows me all the different channels uh, we've got channel six here um, which is 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi range. And you got channel 36, 157. Those are in the 5 gigahertz range. You can actually see channel 6. It says 2437. That's where that 2.4 gigahertz comes from because it's actually 2437 megahertz. Um, and then channel 36, 5180 megahertz. That's 5.1 gigahertz. Um, so that's where you get the 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz because that's the actual frequency ranges um, for the two <clears throat> Wi-Fi's that everybody uses uh, here's all the channels listed for specifically the 2.4 gigahertz range uh, one thing I'll note is down at the bottom you'll see channel 13 and 14 um, and also 12 um, those aren't used in the United States um, in other countries they use some of those um, I believe I forget one of those or maybe two of those you can use in the United States but when you go by a router or an access point they're not programmed to allow those channels generally um, one of those is actually banned I think it's channel 14 if I remember correctly um, that would be an FCC regulation um, correct me if I'm wrong I believe it is actually banned um, usually when they ban a frequency it has to do with it potentially interfering overlapping with other frequencies causing interference um, or being already a frequency that's used like say for military purposes uh, because a lot of people we might think about Wi-Fi as short range um, but any radio frequency can be boosted and you can actually find a video on YouTube of two people communicating on a mountaintop 60 miles away using a parabolic dish, which is the directional antenna, and focusing their Wi-Fi and using a transceiver that the power is turned way up on um, because you can buy cards that allow you to turn up the power up to like one watt or more, which will make it go really far. Um, in this case, they made it go 60 miles. Uh, so they have those capabilities. So while we may see it as a short range communication, for example, the military might be using it for long range. And that may be why that channel's banned, for example. Uh, but anyways, this app, the really neat thing is you can actually look at your strength of all the different networks in your area. Um, but this is my favorite part. This dial right here, actually, uh, this meter allows you to walk around and it will bounce back and forth telling you where your signal is dropping out and where it's increasing. So it can tell you where you may need to put a range extender in or it can tell you if you need to move your access point or um, adjust it. Um, say you've got a guy on the pole, you can actually have a guy standing down here uh, at the bottom with the phone and he can move that back and forth and he can actually tell you whenever you can tell him when the signal increases or decreases to where he needs to stop. Um, it's actually pretty neat and pretty handy in cases like that. Um, but that's pretty much it in terms of that app goes. Um, if you have any questions about Wi-Fi, uh, I have a little bit of information about it. I'm definitely not a, a wireless expert by any means. I'm nowhere close. Um, I mainly deal with fiber optics. Uh, but, uh, again, if you have any questions, um, if I don't know, I can find out for you. Uh, 
just leave a comment and I'll respond back as soon as I can. Thanks guys.